Hey guys, Ash here from Escape Studios. You're watching another Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tracking node to animate some Roto in Nuke. So here's a few frames from last week's Tips and Tricks. You can click on the icon now to go and see that if you wish. Watching it back, I've decided that my face wasn't cheerful enough, so I'm going to replace it with an even happier version of myself. I've rotoed around my face, I've found a picture where I'm a lot happier, or I've reformatted it and transformed it, and used the Roto Mask node to make sure it's in the right place. Dear Lord. Now I can animate the Roto using keyframes, but I've decided, since my face is the same shape the whole way through, I'm just going to use a tracker to move the Roto for me. So I'm going to select my original backplate, zoom in on my ugly mug, hit tab, and click tracker. Once the tracker is attached to the backplate, if I haven't already, I'm going to hit O to turn overlays on so I can see the tracking markers. In the tracking node itself, you can see that I've enabled tracker number one. I'm going to place tracker number one on one of my eyes. I'm going to enable two more trackers, tracker two and tracker three. Tracker two can go on my other eye, and tracker three can go on one of my huge nostrils. Now I'm going to head back up to the tracker node, hover over this button that says track to the last frame, and click it. Nuke will then match these tracking nodes to the pixels on the screen. So Nuke has accurately tracked my face. Now I want to plug the tracker node into the tree so that it affects the roto. Now tracking nodes affect everything that comes in the tree above them. So if I place it under the merge mask node, it's going to affect everything above it. Now if I look at the merge over node, you'll see that a terrifying version of my face is now on top of the original backplate. However, when I click play, the tracker isn't having an effect on the roto node yet. So I'm going to go up into the tracking node, click transform, and you'll see the transform option at the moment says none. If I change that to match move, and now go back to frame one and press play, everything above it is now affected. So the roto node matches the tracking markers, which means the happy-go-lucky version of my face is now attached to the tracking markers on the original version of my face. If that doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what will. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of these tips, and we'll see you next week.